Welcome once again to the Show and Tell Show. We are your one-stop shopping for solutions to the everyday challenges of life in the multitasking fast lane. Today, as always, we offer you information, inspiration, and girl friendship to fuel your day and week. First, let's meet today's pet mascot, reminding us of the importance of adopting as well as spaying and neutering our pets. And today's pet mascot is Daisy from the Pasadena Humane Society and SPCA, visiting with us with our friend, Jamie Holman. Hi, Jamie. Hi. So Daisy, how old is Daisy? Daisy is seven years old and she is a basset hound. A basset hound. So she's seven years old, which makes her an adult, right? She's not a senior. She's an adult. She's an adult dog. Okay. And now we've talked before about the benefits of adopting and kittens and puppies but what is um, tell us about the benefits of adopting an adult pet well one of the greatest benefits of adopting an adult pet is that what you see is what you get so yeah. when you go into a shelter uh, and you have a certain size requirement for mm -hmm. instance yeah. when you see an adult dog you know that they're gonna stay that size whereas when you adopt a puppy you don't really know how big the puppy is gonna get so if yeah. you're looking for say a large dog like mm -hmm. Daisy here, you know that this is this is gonna be Daisy's yeah. size. Yeah. And the temperament too, you kind of know, this, you, as a puppy or a kitten, you don't really know what's gonna happen in the next couple of years, so you kind of exactly. have an idea. Perfect. Exactly. Well, we're so glad that you guys could be with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you're gonna be here through the entire episode, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be here throughout <laughs> the whole show, so Daisy will check in with you. Perfect, very good. All right, well, we'll see you guys later. Now let's bring on Rain Parvis. Come on in, Rain. Hello, Rain. Hi. <laughs> Rain Parvis, as you know, is one of our great friends and a certified style expert, and you are going to give our viewers their question for the day, right? Yes, I love the questions. Okay. <laughs> Today's question for our viewer is, where would be the ultimate destination for a girl's vacation with your besties? Costa Rica, Mexico, we want to know. So go to our contact page on our website and share your thoughts. We'll be reading some of your answers at the end of the episode. Terrific. Now, we've been loving having panelists on our show to provide their comments on our segments. We want to hear what you think, too. So please post to us on Facebook and Twitter to let us know what you think of our segments. Rain, who are our panelists today? Okay, so first up, we have Laurel Gail Diamond, who is a personal trainer, and she has her own fitness DVD, and she is married with four children. Hi. Hey, Laura. Hi. <laughs> okay, next up, we have uh, Patricia Smith, is an author, artist, and lyricist who loves travel and sharing her observations on the human condition. She's an aunt to two nieces and four nephews and a second mom to many more. Next, we have Monica Estrada Nunez, a married working mother of two girls who loves cooking and traveling to new places. Hi, ladies. Hi, <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. It's great to have you here. You. And are you ladies ready to share your opinions? We are, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay, well, we're excited to hear from you. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about giving back. See you in a minute. <laughs> Today we begin our Giving Back series, which highlights great work being done by women for women, building community and helping to lift each other upwards. Bloom Again Foundation, based in Pasadena, California, is a great example. And here to tell us more about it is Bloom Again's board president, Sherry Betts. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you. Well, tell us how Bloom Again Foundation um, got started and what is its mission? Well, its mission is to help women who are living at the poverty level with financial assistance yes. so that after illness we can help them with their household expenses that would otherwise not be covered mm -hmm. by any other organization. That's great. And how did it get started? Uh, it was started by um, New York Times best-selling author Dr. Lois Franco. Yeah. She wrote the book uh, Nice Girls Don't Get the Corner Office. Yes. And Lois uh, experienced a medical challenge of her own. She had breast cancer and uh, was able to, of course, get back uh, on her feet financially because mm -hmm. she had the means to do that. Mm -hmm. So after her recovery, after she was blooming again, yes. she decided she wanted to help other women who were working women at the, living at the poverty level mm -hmm. who may not be, have the financial means yeah. to get back on their feet. Yeah. Um, medical emergencies and sudden illnesses are scary enough for anyone, but for yes. working moms, for female breadwinners, for single moms, it's, it adds another layer, the, the providing for the family adds another layer of stress. So what does the funding from, from Bloom Again Foundation 
actually covers, not medical expenses, right? No, not okay. medical expenses. We yeah. cover the expenses that cause stress yes. uh, or that could cause homelessness. Okay. We, uh, we cover expenses like rent and utilities, mm -hmm. uh, food uh, for nourishment, and also gas to help people get back and forth to treatments. And who exactly can receive the funding? Are there guidelines for, for receiving it? Yes, um, okay. they have to be women working at the poverty level. Mm -hmm. They have to have been working for the last 90 days. They have to have an acute illness or something that was recently became to create a medical emergency and they also have to be re referred by one of our 26 strategic partners. Mm -hmm. Well I'm sure this hits home for anybody who either has experienced a medical emergency or knows yes. someone who has. Yes. So how can people out there help? They can help by giving donations. Okay. Um, we provide uh, on average $1,800 to every woman every woman who receives funding from us. Okay. So donations, any size, will help us to achieve that, our mission to, uh, to give this money to the individuals that want to bloom again. Okay, and of course, you can find out more information about Bloom Again online. Rain, what do our panelists think? Well, ladies, I know that living in Los Angeles can be tough as it is. I can only imagine what the women in your uh, foundation go through. So what is, what is something that you guys are gonna take away uh, today that you guys can help out at? And maybe a woman in need or her foundation? Yeah, well, first, let me applaud you and your organization because mm -hmm. there's such a need. I think it's so important, especially empowering women to help other women. So yes. I personally follow the same philosophy. I believe in girls' education and helping to lift other women up. So that's something that I feel like reinforces the same kind of philosophy. So Absolutely. thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I think, I think that um, it is an expensive city. And I guess I'm curious about the 90 day must have been working in the past 90 days because if somebody fell ill, you know, 100 days ago, what happens to them? Do they fall through the cracks? If they were the game and applying. Mm -hmm. Right, and then the other thing is, is that even, even if you feel powerless to, to maybe contribute financially, it makes me wonder, you know, could, could people start like cooking meals and saying, you know, we would like to cook meals and, and bring comfort to those, to those women in need. Maybe they can't contribute financially. Maybe they can offer clothes, maybe they can offer on, on some sort of a level, but it's important to contribute however you can. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So I applaud you for, ta for starting this organization as a woman, because starting a business is hard on its own. But I think the key is, and coming from an all-woman school, women need to help other women, yes. and especially in the stress, and because it's so hard coming off of an illness. And like you said, said Caroline, there's a lot of single moms out there and they just need the help and it's nice to know there is a place where they can go. Yes. Well, thank you so much, panelists, and thank you, Sherry Betts from sure. Bloom Again Foundation. Absolutely. And we'll be right back. is the tiny powerhouse behind the, the growing organic food company, Effie Foods. But at the beginning of her story, she was not the picture of strength you see today. And now we are delighted to learn her story. Welcome, Karina. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited and also very humbled to be here. Oh, it's our pleasure. Tell us how Effie Foods got started. Well, you know, I founded the company in 2012. Yeah. Preceded by two years of research. Yeah. Um, I, I had this dream. I wanted really to marry the nutraceuticals and food. Yeah. Um, and provide this amazing, delicious, but also really good for you uh, snacks. Mm -hmm. I recently spoke to my mom and she said that uh, the seeds were planted years ago. I was seven years old and I you know, woke up one day and realized that I needed a new dream because the one I had before since I was three uh, no longer was attainable for me. You know, I dreamt about uh, you know, competing on the world stage and being a figure skater, ah. um, but I fell on the ice, um, you know, fractured my spine, and that's where my journey with chronic pain started. Okay. And so, you know, then later on in life, I was diagnosed with a spine condition. Okay. And, um, you know, had so many spine surgeries. Mm, okay. And, you know, we all talk about, you know, finding great doctors and great hospitals, but no one really talks about recoveries, because yeah. they take months, if not, you know, years. Yeah. And I met a lot of people um, with a lot of problems uh, post-op. Mm -hmm. And so I found that um, nutraceuticals, uh, especially probiotics, yeah. played an integral role in my recovery. 
Hmm. And you know, uh, there are only a few foods with probiotics, mm -hmm. and most of them are dairy. Yes. So if you're lactose Yogurt's intolerant, yeah. and yeah. I'm, you know, I'm a plant-based eater. Well, I became one. Okay. Um, a plant-based. Okay. Yes. Yes, a plant-based. Um, and so, uh, you know, I was looking for the special probiotic strain mm -hmm. that could withstand, you know, the manufacturing processes, the heat, mm -hmm. and all that and that could survive you know in in the bar or in a cookie yeah and you know it took a few years traveling all over the world and especially here in the US working with different biotech companies so what did you do to change what, tell us about these products and how how they're unique these are probiotic bars so yes. unlike the dairy products that you yes. were mentioning yes so these bars are with probi I don't know if anyone tried but I guess guys you, sh you should we'll um, definitely try those they look, yes they look uh, great. so it's probiotic care bar mm -hmm. that comes in three flavors okay. um, goji and cashew green tea and honey lemon and coconut and cacao nibs and are they available now in stores yes okay. they, we are you know in a few hundred uh, stores uh, across the US okay but you can go to our website effifoods.com and find you know location near you. We're in Whole Foods in Whole right Food. now. You know, they just gave us a little... Congratulations, Thank that's you huge. so much. Thank you. Very I, good. Can we ask how you're doing now health-wise? Um, how are you feeling? How do you feel? You know, I'm feeling really great. Yeah. Um, I'm working on the, you know, finding the balance in life. Yeah. And implementing different, you know, things. And I think I'm doing better. Very good. Thank well, you that's so great. much. Reen, what do our panelists have to say? Please, any, any questions for Karina? I think your story is um, very inspirational and I appreciate the fact that you yourself took the reins and did the research and it looks like this is your passion so I commend you on that and it's, it's very important to follow your passion and it looks like it, that's what you did. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was my last conversation with my dad before he passed away in 2010. Follow your passion. Yes. I think your story is amazing. I, I'm not sure where you're from originally but you are so articulate from and eloquent in English more so than many Native American, <laughs> Native speakers of, of our language. So I really honor you for that. I'm Thank a former so figure much. skater, competitive figure skater as well. Really? I oh my yeah, God. So I, 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 I heart you <laughs> big time on that. Um, and I love the fact that, that you've really researched this. I, I, I think people don't read the labels, and there's just still so much added sugar. And thank you for mm -hmm. going to the Cleveland Clinic. I'm from Cleveland originally, so I just oh, feel really? so connected to you in so many yes. ways. Thank you. And Laura, can't and wait to taste it. This, I think, this is exactly what we need. Being in the health and fitness field, we need more probiotics that are not dairy, that's -dairy. more natural. And I, I think this is exactly what we need thank in the so stores much. today. And thank I commend you. you for finding something that's nat all natural with so no added mm -hmm. um, ingredients. Right. Wonderful. I think that's wonderful. Karina, thank you very much for being mm -hmm. here. And panelists, thank you for your comments. When thank we come you. back, everybody, we'll take a look at time-saving meal delivery kits. Just a Our busy lives can make it difficult to prepare the fresh, creative, well-balanced meals we all like to make if time were no object. But now there's a growing number of meal kit delivery services aiming to solve our mealtime frustrations. So we decided to try out a few kits for ourselves to check out the pros and cons. Here with us is Dana Douse, our social media intern, who tried out two of the kits while I tried out one. Welcome, Dana. Thank you. I'm so, happy to be here. I'm so glad you could be here. Okay, so you've already had some experience with meal delivery kits. Yeah. Tell us about what you've already, what you did okay. before this. Um, so I signed up for Blue Apron last year. I think they're running a special where you would get two meals free if you signed up for the three for that week. Um, so I used that for a couple months and it was really nice, but in the end it was kind of overwhelming, so mm -hmm. I ended up canceling it, but yeah. I did use it for a couple months. What was overwhelming about it, just out of curiosity? It's just a lot of packaging and a lot of food coming yes. for just one person, yes. so I had a lot of leftovers yeah. and you didn't want to eat that much. And did you, as a millennial, did you, did you order this because you were just busy with work? And with think, what you were doing. I think my mom sent it to me as like the coupon thing. Like if you refer nice. someone else, you get something free. Yes, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, let me tell you about what I did. All right. This is from One Potato. This is, um, this is what it looks like. We have all of the kits in their boxes so that you can see how they come. This is uh, some insulated bubble wrap that it comes in. Um, and there are three meals in this one. Okay. So One Potato, just so you know, is a family-friendly meal kit service that delivers fresh organic pre-prepped 
meal kits straight to your door and features recipe options for the whole fam that the whole family will love. Okay, more on that in a minute. It comes with three meals. Um, the meal options are omnivore or vegetarian. Uh, Gluten-free is available on request. Price per adult meal is $11.99. Price per child meal is $4.50. Um, now, okay, so here is what it comes with. This is what it looks like when you take it out. Here is meal number one. Okay. And meal number two. And meal number three and some extra stuff, some extra stuff. More, it all kind of goes with each of these meals. And it comes with these beautiful recipe cards. Um, and it makes it very easy for you to follow along with the instructions. So I had spinach and roasted red pepper croquettes with kale salad, um, farmer's market pot stickers, and black bean soup and vegetarian quesadillas. Now I just wanna say, um, I loved that it was, uh, that it was, you know, all of the ingredients were so fresh looking. They were um, chopped. Um, everything is pre-measured and um, it looked beautiful, very inviting. Um, and what I especially loved is no grocery shopping, no chopping, um, very easy instructions and everything was done as they said within 30 minutes. But one thing that I will say that is a con is that um, it claims to be uh, one of the benefits and what makes it unique is that it's family friendly. And I would not say that my three, my four-year-old and my six-year-old were not interested in croquettes. They were not interested in kale salad. <laughs> so I still had to make plain pasta for my children. But it was still, like, for my husband and myself, this was a wonderful experience. And um, it just took up a lot of space in the refrigerator, but, yeah. still, but still space that you would use for your groceries had you bought them. Okay. So this is one potato, and I, I thought it was very worth. But the question is, is it worthwhile? I would say yes, um, especially for if you're going to have people over, mm -hmm. and if you're not really into cooking for large groups, then um, this is definitely great. Um, if you just want to have a special meal um, with lots of different ingredients, yeah. it's definitely more complex than I would normally make. Yeah. Yeah. But you didn't have to chop, is that right? I didn't have to chop. Okay. Oh, yes. Chopping is hard for me. Okay, I did a lot of chopping. You so did? I'll talk about Ooh, that. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, it's your turn. Yeah. That's one thing. Okay, yeah. well, I did Home Chef and HelloFresh, and yep. I think Home Chef is $60 for um, three meals for two people, and I think it's $10 a person per meal. And then Home Chef was $69, so a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start by opening Home Chef. And we got one meal from Home Chef. We tried the Alcapulco steak tacos. And very similar to that package, there's this biodegradable layer that you have that's this mm -hmm. insulation here. And what I really liked about Home Chef is that it comes with this really nice binder that makes it really easy to organize your recipes because I'm always getting stuff all over my recipes and they rip and all kinds of things. Is it also biodegradable? I don't think so. So I don't know <laughs> if they send this to you every time you order something or if it's something they give to you in the beginning and you just add on to it as you go. Oh, yes. But the pictures are really big, which was yeah. really nice. And then the other thing that was nice just about the instructions compared to the one I'll talk about next is that each instruction has a step-by-step -step picture. So it's very easy to follow, super mm -hmm. convenient. Great. And then, as I'm sure that one did, there's lots of ice in here. Yep. And then, much like that one, everything for one meal is wrapped all together. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like this was, this was fresh, all of the, all the food that, that oh, arrived yeah. was good? Yeah, okay. it was great. Yep. And then you also have your meat wrapped separately, as mm -hmm. it should be. So mm -hmm. that was good. I'm going to keep this in here since yep. it's kind of dripping a little. My meal was vegetarian, and that was something that I had thought about. Would I order something that was a fish meal? Would I order a meat meal yeah. for, for my kids who do eat meat? And I was concerned about the freshness factor, but how did you feel about that? It seemed really fresh, and we had a few people sample it, and they all really liked it. Okay. Um, we had like a grain of fat in it, so we trimmed that out, but otherwise it was really good. Yeah, yeah so that was very tender, and it was great. Um, mm -hmm. It was very simple to make, a lot easier than Blue Apron, so we thought that it was really worthwhile for someone that may not like grocery shopping or meal planning ahead of time, and they just wanted something to come to their door. Yes. I think you can also order three meals per week, and you get to choose between a few different options, so that was also really nice. That's great. Yeah. So you can change it up every week. You're not getting the same meals yeah, every week. Yeah, and I week. think there is also a vegetarian option, so based on whatever needs or preferences you had. What yeah. about HelloFresh? So this is HelloFresh, and mm -hmm. we tried three meals from HelloFresh. And it's packaged a little differently. So there's this aluminum bubble wrap sort of thing. And then you have your recipes and some other deals they've got going on, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And then everything comes in these really convenient little boxes, I guess. 
So it's nice for storing in your fridge because things just stack on top of each other. Right, I wonder if the panelists might like to see some of these. <laughs> so we tried pork and apple burgers, which were really good. A little bit Chicken wet. and pineapple quesadillas, and then this baked fazili pasta. And then again, all of the meat is wrapped separately underneath another layer of ice. Do you mind if I open this and we can yeah. kind of show what it looks like? Pork and apple burgers, unusual. Yeah, they were, that's what we dishes. thought was going to be unusual, but it was actually my favorite. Wow. And there's just a different meat. Mm -hmm. And so again, these ones are a little more than $10 per person, but it's similar where you get to choose three out of maybe five or six options. So if you're a vegetarian, you can choose that. These are so cute. I know. So it's like, it's so cute, and then you feel bad throwing away this exactly. little tiny bottle. But it's, That's what I was going to say. Yeah. The packaging on this one is a little bit more excessive. Um, my one complaint for this one is I did have to do a lot of chopping, and in particular, they gave me cherry tomatoes to chop for um, a salsa, and that took a long time. So that was less than desirable. But it was also really good. Um, Something I liked about this is that it was ingredients I was familiar with, whereas when I've used Blue Apron before, it was trying to get you to try new things yeah. um, and new meals that I wouldn't do on my own. So, very, very cool. simple, something, everything tasted really good and we were all very familiar with what we were cooking. Okay, so overall, meal delivery kits, are they for you? I think, personally, I love meal planning and I love going grocery shopping mm -hmm. and I was born in the Pinterest um, generation so I love looking and doing all those things. Yes. For people that don't like grocery shopping and they don't like to think about what meals they're going to plan throughout yeah. the week, I think this is a great option. It depends on your priorities. Yeah. And it, But it's not cheap either. I mean, yeah. it's like you really have to like, weigh your priorities, I think. Yeah, you but have to be committed to it. You have to be committed <laughs> to it and, yeah, and feel like that's, like, that's where you want yeah. to spend your money. But I, I had a good experience. And too. the other thing I wanted to mention really quick <laughs> is that this came a day late so if you were counting on it for a group of Events, That's very important. Yes, it, yeah. it arrived a day late. Mm -hmm. So yes, if you're having guests over, yeah, you have to rely on something coming there on time and yeah. then having enough time. Yeah, and it's still being fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, this is a lot of fun. Thank you very much yeah. for joining us. Thank this you for having me. Rain, what do our panelists think? All right, she can't wait to say something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I think you're paying a lot for packaging. Um, I can price out what those groceries cost and. You, you know, you may think it's cheap to spend $10 per person for a meal because that's way less than what you would spend if you went out. Mm -hmm. But for, so that was for two people, what you bought. So for $20, I can just shop a lot better with that money. And since it's not being chopped for you, I can make it go a lot further. Yeah. You know, you pay $5 for that. Instead try. Of, fun yeah, to try. It's fun to try. And it's, I just don't know how sustainable it is, especially yes. with all the waste. I think that's a concern for me. And also, to to your point about yeah. portion. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I actually tried it. Mm -hmm. And being a mom. Which one? I don't even remember. I tried a few different companies, and yeah. there's more out there than these three. Yeah. But I actually tried a few. And being a mom of four, and working, and I am so busy. I'm constantly on the go. Yes. And the convenience, sometimes it can be, it does. Some and I'm like, do I actually food. enjoy, you know, shopping for yeah. food and yes. kind of yeah. what you feel like having that day? Okay, but, but okay, the time. So when my mom was cooking for us, like literally every single Monday through Saturday, obviously I grew up in a different generation than Dana, but Monday through Monday through Friday, it was like Spaghetti Monday, um, Meatloaf Tuesday, and it was for years. So wow. if this was around for those non-cookers like myself, like my mom makes great food, but it's the, it was the same thing consistently, this would have been amazing. So I think it's more of, for me, it's like a special occasion. Sure. Like, fun. hey, let's fun. let's it's let's play chef for the yeah. night. Yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah. But I could see how you know if, if you have a, a child who's newly in college, I would you know I could definitely. You know, visualize myself getting this for for my son or, yeah, but or for daughter. Yeah, for sixty dollars a week, they could go and buy a lot of yes. groceries and do way better. Yes, and there's a lot of meals. a lot of leftovers too. So there is. you have to weigh it. You have to Although weigh it. Although I can take care of right, mom we're, we're going to have to go. But thank you so much for all of your great commentary. And Dana, thank you for doing yeah, this with you us. Thank you for having me. And you can find out more about the kits we use and the recipes on our website. We'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, we're back, and it's time for our Kevin Berry Minute. Come on out, Kevin. Hello, Yay. Caroline. Hello, Hello. 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 everybody. Hello. Hi, it's so good to see good you. To see you. Oh, Rain, everybody, how's it going? I'm looking at that ice skater. <laughs> All right, this is amazing. You love that? You yes, love that? yes. Okay. Um, so what, these are what, sheet masks? This is the new phenomenon, sheet masks. Okay. Uh, 
it's just blowing everywhere. Everyone's using them. Yeah. Uh, recently, Kristen Bell. Yeah. Uh, on Instagram, was it Instagram? Yeah, Facebook? she okay. put it on Instagram. But recently, yeah. seen in this photo shot right here, she's on the red carpet at the Emmys. Oh. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. And she looks great, as you can see. And yes. if you want to look like that, then what you're going to want to do? Yeah. She has on these from Skin Iceland. See, it was she looks beautiful on the red carpet. Yes. There oh. we go. And you can yes. see the lip gel just a little bit and the forehead now. And she put that out herself. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. Like, you know, she was up front with it, just 100%. Yeah. And the <laughs> ne even Sean Combs, otherwise known as Puffy, yeah. is depuffing his puffiness. Do you love that? Isn't Let, that great? Let's take a step back for a second because who, what, are, what does it do? What, are okay. these, what is the purpose of these? So if you're a little naughty and maybe you're not good with your skincare as yes. you should be, yeah. and you have something important, yeah. this is a quick way. It's like a personal trainer in a package. So it cleans or it... it, it can do both. Okay. You can clean, you can purge. But okay. basically you want to drive the ingredients in and that's what it does. It's like a, a limited contact therapy because okay. it's on the dermis so it drives it in faster and you get immediate glowing yeah. results. And you don't have to put it on yourself. It's like you, you, you just paste it on you without... You got it. Yes. You don't have to... It doesn't have to require... No any mess. artistry, no just boom, mess. boom, that's it. Fill yes. in the blanks, Love paint it. by numbers. Okay, so what, what are So there's something for everything. I mean, that's, I just couldn't get over it. Even Puffy was up front about deep puffing yeah. his puff. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like an inside thing. Good for him. And another good one is Amy Schumer. There we go. Looking like the great owl from the movie Nim. Loving that. She said that, not me. I don't want to eat Nim. Yeah. Okay, now get this, this is going to be a fun one. Guess who this is coming up next? Okay. Keep it to yourself. It looks a little bit like a Diane Arbus picture. Remember yes, it Diane does. Arbus? It was a little yeah. spooky. Yeah. Yeah. And but then to you know that's what it turns into. So if I could look like that. Yeah, I, I would mask. do any yes, sheet mask. It, it doesn't is. matter. I'm game. Amazing. I'm good to go. Okay. So the image we have coming up next is one of the most popular in Hollywood. It's a company okay. called Skin Iceland. Okay. And that's just what a lot of people are Instagramming about, tweeting, pinning. Okay. That's a popular one. And it is, you know. A little bit more, but like just, how much more? Like, like you know, in the fifty dollar area. Okay. You know, but for you one get, mask, you get a couple. A couple. They have one called facelift in a bag. Okay. If you're really having Ooh. low self self esteem issues. Which tightens. Which tightens, tightens and firms, lifts. Gives you, okay. and, the, and the copy on it, you know, where do those lines come from? You know, yeah. why did my husband leave me? All those fun things. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what? Great. Yeah. Oh my god. It's really pretty funny. This. It's great. No no, oh no goodness. needles, exactly. No needles. No needles. Yes. Not a, okay, so let's get into it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Perfect. Yep. Right. Perfect. Oh, right. The lip one, the lip pump one. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah. just, just put it right, right on. Just put it right on. It's fabulous. Don't be scared. It's cold. Well, you leave it on for 10 minutes. It's not that we don't love your comments. We just want you to be quiet. We're giving you one. Oh, Kevin. That's ah, okay, my ah, husband keeps I giving me these lip gels. What is it? That's the fun ah. one. That's the vulnerable. So, how does it feel? Is it, is it tingly? Is it, is it feels it... like nothing. But it's when like you take it off, there is like a little, mm, there is a It'll little, feel, you feel, a little something, and to put something. makeup on top of it would really be wonderful. Where's your makeup artist? I want to try one. Eliana. She won't come out. She's too scared. Come on over. Come I have lips. Come, come on. Come on, Eliana. Come. Eliana. Rejuvenate your lips. Don't be shy. I know you want to try it. Eliana Chavez. Eliana is a beauty artist. junkie. Yay. She loves it. Come on. Who gave me one of the under eye? Uh, yeah, they're great. Right. 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 So I've already used one. Anybody the crew want to do their lips? Come on, do your lips. Don't be shy. You can come on. All right. Daisy. I'm not having a big stuff. Leave me alone. I gotta see the other guys, side now. This was fun. This was, this was fun. fun. Yes. Yeah, Karen's okay. like, thank you for like, gumming yes, up my notes. I'm yes. sorry. I told you. So where can we get on. these? I had to get the Skin Iceland online because they're sold yeah. out nationwide because so of Kristen online. Bell. Yeah. Well, okay. Skin, th that particular kind, but he got these at 99 cents. So everybody has a chance. So, so like don't... CVS probably yes, has a No, kind. CVS didn't. But they, I mean, they yeah. really are popular. Like after we start talking about it, it's amazing. So okay. they're options. So if with a little effort, you can do it and just, you know, be aware they are sticky. Okay. So. Yes, another fabulous segment. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much, Kevin. For another I fabulous Kevin Berry. You need to go out the door. So beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. All right. Well, thank you, panelists, and thank you, Kevin. And um, uh, okay, Rain, we're going to uh, oh, read some <laughs> oh, no. read some answers to our viewer questions. Okay, <laughs> can you stand it? Okay. Yeah, I can stand it. Okay, ready? Should I read this I with this thing on my face? Yeah, Let's do it. it. May as well. Okay. Okay, Ingrid Podesta from King of Prud. Well, first, oh. say what what is the question? Okay. What was the question? This is serious stuff. It is serious stuff. <laughs> okay, Nothing where would that deadly serious? Where would where would be the ultimate destination for a girls' vacation with your bestie? Yeah, bestie. Here's Besties. what they said: yeah. Ingrid Podesta from King of Prussia. Am I saying that correctly? King of Prussia. King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. I did go to college. Okay, my dream girls' weekend would be at a spa on the French Riviera. Thick white robes, mask with cucumbers by day, like, like cocktail dress, casinos, and champagne by night. That sounds. We're heavy. halfway there. Yeah, we're halfway there. Maybe. 
feel a little slightly less than halfway there. Okay, and Jennifer Whitley from Calabasas, California, says, I'd love to take my girlfriends to a dude ranch and laugh while we try to wrangle livestock and be rustic. Like in City Slickers, we are city girls through and through, and what would and that would be a fun adventure. Want to send us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wrong budget, but yeah. that's very nice. Okay, well, thank you, Jennifer. Okay, well, it looks like we're out of time, Rain. This so, one, Dude Ranch and French Riviera. French Riviera, yeah. I'm down. Yeah, I would do. I would do either <laughs> of those. Okay, well, let's say a quick thank you to our panelists, Laura, Patrizia, and Monica. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here. No, you're silent. No, you have to be silent with your with your mouth. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> it was lovely to have you. It was lovely to have you in your commentary. And let's say goodbye to Daisy. I think Daisy wants Jamie. to get on some. I I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Winky, winky. Right, thank you so much, guys, for being here. And, um, and we can find out more about the Pasadena Humane Society and SPCA on your website. Thank you so much yeah. for coming on over, panelists. Oh. Oh, Daisy, you've been so good. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Remember to visit us online, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, sign up for our digital magazine. There's so much to do. We look forward to seeing you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.